I got a text from my sister's bestie about her and my husband loving me too much to do anything to hurt me. My sister's bestie told me that she feels guilty for being a snitch but that she couldn't do this to me anymore because she thinks that I am a kind person and don't deserve this. My sister and my husband have always got along very well. They're both brilliant, both lecturers at the university and they have so much in common. I am not stupid but I never loved school and I have high school education. They have become best friends throughout the years, 14 years, but never once did I feel uncomfortable about it since my husband has shown me nothing but love and respect. The opposite. Until now I counted myself lucky that the two people that I love the most in this world get along so well. But now, I feel nauseated. The bestie sent me screenshots upon screenshots of her conversation with my sister. My sister has feelings for my husband and she appears to know that my husband feels the same way about her too. In one of the texts, my sister wrote that she loved me too much to do anything to hurt me. In another she wrote that I am too dear to both her and my husband to do anything that would hurt me. She seems to think that they're soulmates which is odd because the talk about soulmates came up once between my husband and I when I told him that I didn't want us to be soulmates. He was curious and asked me why. I told him because soulmates meant that we are programmed or are destined to fit together. There's no free will involved and I want my love to come from a free space not a predestined place. He laughed and said he loved that. But apparently they're soulmates? I know that I need to talk to him but I am dreading that. I am in so much despair right now. Edit. Hi. Thanks for your help. I asked how I would be sure before asking my husband so he doesn't just blatantly lie and you suggested to look into his phone. Thanks for your suggestion. I did now. I told him about my sister's conversations with her best friend and showed him the screenshots. He was shocked at first and said he had no romantic feelings for her and he had no idea about her feelings, so I asked to see his phone. I read their texts and emails, and I was shocked that their contact is way more intensive and intense than I thought. They talk on a daily basis. They have lunch multiple times a week. Nothing sexual in the texts but, yeah, he is stupid if he doesn't know that she loves him, and he must think that I am stupid if after reading, I wouldn't get the feeling that he has some feelings too. In one of her texts, she wrote that she wished they had met first and under different circumstances. His answer wasn't totally dismissive. He wrote, yeah, it would probably have been different. When I asked him about it, he said well, yeah, if he didn't know and love me he would probably have been interested in another, my sister included. But he loves me and she is a close friend of his. So there's no sexual relationship between them, but I am not sure that is enough for me. I think they are both wrong and should have nipped it in the bud way earlier. I don't know what to do now. I think I need time for myself to process this. I don't feel well at all about this and I don't want to make decisions from a place of fear and hurt nor convenience. I am sorry I can't answer all private messages because I don't use my phone that often. But our ages are, my husband is 45, I am 42, my sister is 38, my husband and I have been together for 16 years and married for 14. My sister is single. I am not a stay-at-home mom. I have my own business. We don't have children. My sister has two from a previous relationship. Edit again. So now I have had some long talks and discussions with my husband. He seems to think that this is getting bigger than it is supposed to because I told him that I needed time alone to think and digest this. He said that he doesn't understand why I am this hurt since he loves me and nobody else. I didn't relent however and he admitted that he knows that my sister is in love with him because she has told him so. But she knows that nothing can happen between them so she is fine with just friendship, martyr. He loves her but not romantically and he is happy to have a friend like her. Their friend is important to him and he doesn't want it to end because I don't trust him and his love for me. He made a comparison to my best friend and asked what I would think if he asked me to cut my best friend from my life. He admitted that intellectually he has more in common with her than with me but that the heart doesn't always choose who we are more compatible and that he loves and is physically attracted to me. I think this whole situation is messed up. I am repulsed by them both. I texted my sister all her screenshots and she wrote that she was disappointed in her bestie and that your husband is all yours because I would never let anything happen that would hurt you because you are the most important person to me. In other words, they are both contradicting each other since both seem to believe that they are the the one who is not letting a relationship between them grow for my sake. Comments. Art needs more floof. You need to have an honest conversation with your husband and if you have a hope of saving this relationship, he and you need to go low contact with your sister and you need couples therapy. Best case your sister is suffering from limerence, worst case they are having an emotional or physical affair. Either way, inappropriate behavior has been happening that has been deliberately hidden from you. They say they don't want to hurt you. Behaving inappropriately hurts you. Lying about it and hiding it hurts you. They are already hurting you and they have not stopped it. I know this conversation fills you with dread, but here is the thing, it's not going to go away and it is not going to get better until it is exposed to the light, aired out and addressed. Just tell yourself it is like going to the, um, you can't start to heal until the injury is found and diagnosed. You have found the injury, now you have to find what the injury consists of and start treating it. As terrible as the possibilities are, I always find that the knowing for sure is easier to deal with than having the unknown dangling over my head like Damocles' sword. OOP, that's how I always felt. I would rather know the truth, until it happened to me and now I don't even know what to say. Marv 115. If what the friend sent you is true, you need to take a moment and gather your thoughts before this talk you need to have with your husband, if possible check his phone so you have first-hand look at the communication not the friend's one. If real the emotional affair is more than enough of a betrayal, please be careful. OOP. For me even an emotional affair is a deal breaker, unfortunately. Environmental underscore art 591. Don't bring it up with him until you are ready to see proof if it's there because as soon as it is brought up, you need to see his phone so that nothing can be deleted and your sister can't be warned. He needs to hand over his phone straight away. Tear Dan short. TBH it fully could be one-sided. I agree to look through his phone, but I would ask. 
I would first show him the messages, then see how he reacts. If he confirms, you got to the bottom of it all immediately and you have no need to hurt yourself further with whatever is on that phone. If he denies, then I would check. Then if he says he's shocked too and has no feelings for her then you say, I hope you can understand my point of view when I ask if I can check your phone right now. It reassures me that you're shocked, but I need an extra layer of confirmation. My SDBXHs and my sister's love for me was worth one week. One month later, I have written here and a few comments about my soon-to-be ex-husband and my sister. I left him about a week after and he texted me day and night about how much he loved me and wanted me back then he just stopped. That's when I found out that my sister left her children at my parents' house and moved in with my husband. This made everything come out to the rest of my family and my parents were shocked and my mother really looked like she was already showing PTSD symptoms. About how disgusting she felt this whole thing was. She kept calling it incest and asking, is that even legal? I guess that is how much my sister cared not to hurt me. If you read my first post, even though I have been well composed and calm that I surprised myself, I still tried my hardest to look back on my whole life, childhood and upbringing to understand when it all went so wrong. What my sister did felt like something that was the result of years of resentment or at least indifference towards me and our relationship as sisters. So how did I miss that? She never cared about me did she? If she didn't how could I have been so blind? Then not even a week later, I heard that they have ended things. I found out in the oddest way possible. My sister texted me. The first time she texted me since everything started. She just wrote, you be, I hope you burn in life and in hell. I was very confused because she spent that week sharing cheesy, deep quotes about love and soulmates and romantic insta stories with my STBXH. But apparently that was over. STBXH has blocked her everywhere and she moved out. Because she came to my parents to get her children and had a meltdown when they asked for explanation. STBXH started calling and texting me again asking me to meet because he wanted to explain because he loved me and wanted me to understand. He wanted to meet at least once before we started to meet with the lawyers involved. So that is that. This has left me even more confused than if they just ended up together. I understand falling out and in love, breaking up and starting anew but I can't explain this. My STBXH keeps calling me his only love and true friend and my sister, until I left kept promising that she would never do anything to hurt me. She left her children at my parents' doorstep and didn't answer their calls or texts for a week. And all of this for a week? What were they thinking? Has anyone here heard of something like this happening? People throwing everything for not even a week? Update. My soon-to-be ex-husband and my sister threw everything they cared for for one week, same day. After one week of being in love, and my sister leaving her children at my parents' door to be living in my home with my soon-to-be ex-husband and flaunting everything on social media and sharing cheesy quotes, she moved back to her apartment and got her children from my parents. They aren't friends on FB and he unfollowed her on Instagram. Now she is saying that I have ruined her happiness and he started texting me again begging me to talk in private because he needed to explain everything before we started getting our lawyers involved between us. I understand that people fall out of love and sometimes they can't control who they fall for and they can hurt many people around them but I never heard of two people throwing everything they pretended to care about for one week. Comments. Wielder of aphorisms. Speak to my attorney. I'd have that as my outgoing voice message. OOP. I haven't answered any calls from him, his family, or unknown numbers. I don't answer any texts either. I don't have great relationship with his family, especially his mother. We lost our child and they blamed me for us not wanting more children afterwards, when it was both's decision. Lost and dumbfound. From your last post it seems like maybe your ex realized they had too much in common or that the idea of them being to be together didn't match the reality and your ex decided to end it rather than forcing it. It's unhinged that your sister went from, you're the most important person to me, to a rot in hell. You left and she had what she wanted, your husband. Him no longer wanting to be with her is nothing to do with you. OOP. Not only in hell, but in life too. I felt cold reading her text after her gaslighting me for so many weeks, and years really. OOP. No I left him after he insisted on a meeting her for lunch to discuss my distress. I left him and gave him divorce papers. That was a week after my OP. Then a week after she dumped her children at my parents' place and went to him, he doesn't want children. Then less than a week later she moved back to her home, sent me a message to say I ruined her and took her children back. My parents visit to take the children out for dinners and play dates. My sister hasn't talked to them yet. Georgia Jill 38. That text from your sister as everything imploded around her is fascinating. Truly. She takes zero responsibility for blowing up her own life, your STBX's life or your life. Don't know how much responsibility your STBX BX is feeling. She dumps the blame for her distress in its entirety on you. The total absence of any sense of personal responsibility is, from a distance, fascinating. Your sister wouldn't be the golden child in your family would she? I am so sorry the two of them have done this to you. No one deserves this sort of betrayal. OOP. No according to her I was the golden child. I guess she is right about that too. 